Good day, everyone. Good morning if you are in NA. Good afternoon if you are living in Europe. And good evening to all of the uh, 17 of you uh, watching from Asia. Today we are uh, getting our reset in uh, EU as well. So I'm going to go ahead and open my vaults. And in the meantime, as I'm opening my vaults, I am going to go over the few new things that we have gotten from Dragonflight once again in these days as we keep going forward we get more and more uh, news about the expansion I will I, I will touch on something that is that is worrying me a little bit but for the moment We've gotten some new things uh, related to Dragonflight. First of all, in case you were curious, in case you were wondering about how the situation is for the release of the Alpha, it looks like this. It should now magically pop on your screen. This is the timeline, this is the schedule of the you know the testing of the alpha they pointed out the, the devs themselves pointed it out before they are planning to go i believe six weeks six weeks of alpha testing as they slowly but continuously roll out all of the different zones plus the different dungeons plus eventually all of the different classes in the alpha and then after six weeks which should put us at the start of september after six weeks when we have gotten in the game in the alpha all of the classes all of the specs all of the dungeons and all of the zones they will transition from the alpha to the beta now i hope that uh, before then before then is going to be the time where i get my uh, my my alpha invite right blizzard right that being said, uh, in-game, let's not go directly into Dragonflight yet, we have, I believe, a cop. Come on, you are cucking me, AMD software, leave. We have a couple more resets before the release of the next season, which is the 3rd of August. So we have this one right here, with an auction house party in a couple of days, and then we have the last week, which is going to be right here. So, with two resets left... It's not that the vault, <laughs> opening the great vault matters too much at this point, right? Uh, most of this stuff is going to be changed. Why am I a female Pandaren? Why have I kept this horrible look for so long? I'm much cooler now. So um, I don't have many expectations from the vault as usual, as I've had for the last few weeks. Um, oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> You know, I don't have expectations, but to constantly get this trinket like three times in a row starts to get a little bit annoying. Uh, as cool, as cool as this ring is for being 285, mastery is not really uh, one of the things a shaman wants as a restoration, regardless of the spec, the comp that the, the they're going for, whether it's PvP, Mythic Plus, Raiding, whatever. So let's take the tokens, and with the tokens, I am going to take... I am go I am going to take myself with a socket. I believe um, we have helmet, neck, bracers, belts, or ring. Helmet as a socket, neck as a socket, bracers as a socket, ring as a socket, and belt as a socket. The only socket I don't have is on the world killer iris. So I'm going to put it right here. Yes. There you go. Now it has a socket. I believe this was like, which I checked it last time when I picked it up. I think it was 21 HPS better than this uh, necklace. So perhaps I'm going to use it. And now talking about Dragonflight, let's just swap back to the news about Dragonflight. One of the things we talked about that Blizzard announced they were going to change was the very poor reception that Blizzard received when it came to the announcement of the 500 mounts achievement. You know, something that... Um, Something that I'm not really close to getting, <laughs> not even close, but if you get the 500 mounts, you are going to get a poor, horrible, uh, boring, recycled uh, Yeti, something like this. Uh, brown, shit colored, no, nobody wanted it, plus it's, it's, it's a ground mount, right? Uh, if, if you get a 500 mount achievement, you might want to show it off as a flying mount, for example, so... Blizzard changed it, uh, however, however, this is what we are getting, which is an otter mount uh, that is going to be called an ot ottuk, ottak, whatever the pronunciation is in Dragonflight. Now, I don't think, still, this counts as a fly mount anyways. So, they changed the mount, they got a, a newer, shinier mount uh, from Dragonflight, but I still believe it's going to be a ground mount, and I'm not sure how... 
happy people are going to be with a ground mount especially given that in dragonflight we won't be locked into ground mounts from the get-go unlike all of the previous expansions where we have to wait for pathfinder to start flying we have to wait for a full for a full year to start flying in dragonflight you can you can start flying from day one and the fact that you get a ground mount as a 500 mounts achievement is i would say somewhat weird right i i, I don't think it's that nice now, another thing worth pointing out is that before Season 4 comes out, which we just said is in a couple of weeks, Blizzard, of course, is going to go ahead and help what many players are going to be doing, the ones that will try to engage and play in Season 4, which is try a new character, try a new alt, play a different spec or class. You know, we have a bunch of people pre-ordering the, the Dragonflight, which gives you a free boost, right? A free uh, level 60 boost so perhaps there is also going to be a bunch of players boosting a character to 60 however some people might still want to level and because some people might still want to level blizzard is dishing out the winds of wisdom 50 percent xp buff until the start of season four now we already have people <laughs> asking blizzard to get this buff to last throughout the entirety of the the last season of this expansion before dragonflight not just for a couple of weeks before season four i still think though that two weeks of uh, 50 percent more uh, xp is going to be quite, quite a good help for many people who want to to want to level up some of their characters i might even uh, make use of it myself as i was thinking about a few characters to play in uh, in dragonflight more so than season four now it's kind of late to start getting uh, to preparing for season four if i wanted to have some you know some mythic plus or, or raid ready type of character on to another bit of news as i go to open my depressingly small uh, vault for paladin is the stack sizes uh, the stack sizes of profession materials reagents and crafted items as well as consumables and whatnot is going to go much higher in Dragonflight because it's going to go up to 200 and to 1000. The base materials, so the ores, the herbs, the vials, the, the cloth and meat can now stack all the way up to 1000 and then consumables such as potions, files, sharpening stones and buff foods etc etc are going to be stacking up all the way up to 200. So finally shit like this where you have to spread all this stuff onto multiple different slots is gone. You will be able to stack it much higher now, which is cool. You know, it's not that this has ever has ever annoyed me too much. It's, it's ever hindered me. I, I, I've never gotten full in my bags and I faulted having too many potions or foods, but it's still nice as, as a quality of life to have more space in your bags or not have them as cluttered now absolutely zero hope for this world to get anything even remotely nice and it is correct because i get a tier piece tier piece which i already have if i want to i can turn that piece into into a tier set so i don't need it and let's get two more tokens i was so lazy i didn't even get enough to get a full a full, a full socket but whatever this week as we said for mythic plus where it is is tyrannical bursting and volcanic which is an amazing week it is the best week of the last few weeks we have had for pushing in mythic plus this tyrannical week is one of the easiest of of tyrannical weeks uh, like in the entire season and it's coming as the last tyrannical week of the the, the season basically because next week this is this is the, the last tyrannical week next week is going to be fortified and then it's season four so this is the last tyrannical week available and it's a very 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 good week so if you are still having some some low tyrannical keys that you wanted to push higher this is gonna be the best week for you to to do so now in case you're wondering yes of course the other bit of news is going to be class related is going to be spec related we have been getting some more data mining of spec and spec changes you know mage warrior death knight druid have gotten some changes here and there but i'm gonna keep that as a standalone uh, video because it's a little bit more it's, it's, it's a little bit more in depth many of the changes are just some some changes in alpha uh, tooltip abilities you know changing the coefficient of the spell power or the attack power of the abilities so not that 
not that important right now because you are four plus months away from the expansion and very likely many of these things are going to change by the time the player base get their hands on, on these things the other of course bigger change is what is going is what is going to be available for testing after the release of the alpha with the original classes we have have gotten blizzard to reveal the talent trees for so we have gotten priest death knight rogue hunter and druid once the alpha was released we also got the evoker for their talent trees as well and then this week in this version of the alpha the second week of the alpha we have gotten shaman obviously very very excited for for the shaman changes and for the new talent trees which is why we're gonna get a full video dedicated to shaman tomorrow because there is a lot to talk about not enough not enough to talk about uh, today certainly it is uh, and i'm just gonna say as a spoiler that the talent trees for shaman are so good that they might be too good <laughs> you will see what I mean when we go over the video tomorrow um, as a little bit of a spoiler, as a preview. What I mean is there are so many good things that there are actually too many good things and it's gonna feel way way too bad to miss out on all of those good things. That's that's my take so far on the Shaman Tree, but we will get a more, a more in-depth look uh, tomorrow for today. We can, we can stop here for this small, tiny update on the news that we have gotten from Dragonflight. Actually, actually, no, we're not stopping here. There is one thing that still worries me a little bit. Uh, I just repeated three or four times that uh, in a couple of weeks we get season four. Yet, everyone has gotten excited in, around these days for the news about Dragonflight, which is very, which is very expected and understandable, right? Uh, there is way more excitement about the next expansion than there is about the you know, recycled kind of season that we have in season four. However, however, I'm still a little bit worried because we have still not seen anything about, for example, the fated affixes in the raid or news about the balancing of the raid, the tuning of the raid that's gonna be available in season four. We have not heard too much about possible balance tuning in season four even if there is no balance tuning okay i've been repeating this like three times every video of for the past three weeks even if there is not going to be any balance tuning there is still the the announced nerf to survival that is supposed to come and we have also not heard anything about that either so i found it somewhat interesting that we are two weeks away from season four and all we have gotten in the past three weeks or so is just dragonflight news and basically nothing about season four. That's what has, I don't know, confused me a little bit. Maybe Blizzard has kind of forgot about season four. They were too busy about dishing out a Dragonflight news that they kind of slept on season four. Still, still, another video, another time worth pointing out that we are still full on Hopium and we are still convinced that there is going to be some cool balance tuning coming in season four. With this pointed out, we can stop right here for today. As usual, a thank you to all of my patrons supporting me. This is a very good time to, to be wanting to support me as we are getting into Dragonflight. We are getting into the busy time of the year, the busiest time of the WoW cycle, the alpha into the beta, into the first couple of months of release. So it's going to be a very, a very fulfilling and very exciting and gratifying six or so months but it's gonna be very cool to know that i have your support as i work on these videos and this content eventually one day once we get into the beta we will get also a bunch of streams for uh, dragonflight as well so thank you to all of the chads and stacy's i guess supporting me on patreon you can also continue the support train by liking and commenting on this video as well as as well as subscribing on the channel this also then follows up uh, being able to follow me on twitter as well as subscribing to patreon itself which of course will give you access to my discord server and as i forgot where i was supposed to go which is here my discord server which will let you get in contact with me if you have to if, if you're interested in, in asking some questions about the current content the future content the feedback about the past content some perhaps even personal questions if you want to chat i am usually uh, always available on discord with this being said uh, we can leave each other guys to tomorrow where very likely we're gonna get the shaman talent tree video thank you guys again uh, for watching see you guys soon and in the meantime where 
Where am I supposed to go? I'm just, I've just been flying randomly. Okay, I'm supposed to go here. Cool, let's go. Goodbye, guys.